important and very special to me because this is something that is going to change a lot of people's lives and you guys are going to get to be a part of it as much as I am. So. If you follow me on Twitter or you follow me on Snapchat, I've been talking about creating an item that I wanted to sell and then take some of those profits and donate them to a really good organization. And I ended up finding the organization that I wanted to donate to and it is the National Alliance for Mental Illness. And I am going to be taking the profits from this item and they are going to be going to this organization. And I thought it would be the perfect time to do this just because Christmas time is coming around. I wanted to do something like this last year but I wasn't in a really good place so I wasn't even thinking clearly to you know actually do something like this and being 21 years old and going through the amount of things that I have gone through already in my life and still being strong and you know being able to wake up in the morning with a smile on my face is pretty incredible to me so bitch you just started the fucking video I need to stop being such a fucking pussy like sorry you guys I have so many feelings <laughs> but like I said I wanted to create an item that I could donate to something that would make a difference and also related to me and like I told you guys in the past if you watched my videos um in the past and still currently I guess you could say I have dealt with stuff personal stuff <laughs> um I have had really bad anxiety and depression but I can stand here today stand here today and say that I am no longer and I know some people are gonna be like wow Vanessa how convenient it's just gone it's not convenient like I have dealt with this since I was 18 years old a little <laughs> I don't, mm, I hate feeling like I have to explain myself and I'm like only explaining myself to the people who are not understanding and to the people who are like being haters so I'm not even going to explain myself but I have dealt with depression since I was about 18 years old just because of things that happened in my life like pretty traumatic stuff that I have not shared here on YouTube and I'm still not comfortable sharing that stuff now um I don't know if I ever will be but oh, sorry guys sorry <laughs> But basically, I dealt with some pretty crazy stuff at 18 years old that I never thought would happen to me, but it did, and it led me into a dark spiral in my life. Like, I literally was so depressed. I didn't want to leave my house. I didn't talk to any of my friends. Like, all my relationships were ruined at that point. Um... Things just got really, really bad. So the fact that I'm here now at 21 years old, depression free, I do not feel sad sadness at all. I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face, ready to go about my day. And it's crazy how a year ago, I would stay in until like 5 p.m., go and eat something, and then go back in my bed and not want to communicate with anybody because I was so sad and I felt so low about myself, you know? So the fact that I am here today strong, happy, independent, and just loving life, like, it's insane to me because you, I know some of you can relate that you could feel like everything is going wrong and it's never going to get better. And I understand you 100%. I have been in your shoes. Like, you just have those days where you just want to give up completely because you're like, oh my gosh, no one understands what I'm going through. I've talked to therapists, I've gone to doctors, and nobody's helping me, you know? So, I feel you. Like, 100%, and I think that's why we have the relationship that we do. Uh, me and the rat family, the rat pack. Like, I feel like that's why we connect so much, because I understand 100% what you're feeling. And I talked to so many of you guys on Instagram and Twitter, and I even added a ton of you guys on um, Snapchat, and I keep in touch every single day with some of these people, just because I want to make sure they're okay. And... It's like your lives kind of become mine at this point. I, come, I become so invested in some of you that if I don't talk to you every day and make sure that you're okay, like, I just feel off. So, I just, like, I just love you guys so much and I want to be able to give back in some way. So, now that I'm done being a bitch, the item that I created that is going to, you know, provide the profits for this charity is a hoodie, and it has a lot of meaning to me. Hopefully, you guys like it, and you guys think it's cute, because I really took, <laughs> like, I was in my room for a 
freaking week and a half like what can I put on this like it can't I don't want to just stick out a hoodie with my face on it or something and be like here you guys go like it has to have meaning and when you wear it I want other people to stop you and be like oh let me read that like I want people to know about this so the hoodie has a picture of me holding a rose on fire and then it says you're not alone underneath it and then when you go to the side it says I am and then there's a ton of encouraging words beautiful words like, I am unique, I am caring, I am enough, I am loyal, I am human, and etc. Um, now, the reason the hoodie has a rose on fire is because I consider life to be beautiful and I consider it to be a gift just as a rose is beautiful and a gift. And the reason it's on fire is because sometimes it feels like your world is crashing down, it feels like your world is on fire and everything is falling apart, but you have to remember you're not alone and life is beautiful still. So that's why I made that. And then I also put all of these. So if you gotta look at yourself in the mirror or you're feeling low and you just have to look at your arm and just read all of those out and tell yourself 10 times that you are worth it and you're unique and you're just you, you're human. It's okay to have feeling. It's okay to, you know, it's okay to cry. It's okay to, you know, not be okay. So that is the reason why I created this hoodie. And I really hope you guys like it and I really hope you guys want to take part in this because like I said it is for charity and this is what I want to do for Christmas. I've never done anything like really big like this. I've done like the Christmas angels where you take the little angel thing off the tree and then you buy a kid a gift but I mean that's all I've ever done. And the fact that I have a platform where I can do something like that and I haven't done it yet I'm like I feel dumb like I want to slap myself in the face for that. So I'm gonna put a link below for these. They go all the way up to 3XL. I am personally a size medium in it. As you guys can see, it fits me perfectly. It's like a little tiny bit baggy. Like I could fit in a small, but I wanted a medium just so it could be a little baggy. But like I said, it goes all the way up to 3X just because um, we all come in different sizes, sis. And I wanted to make it as unisex as possible. Boys can wear this. Girls can wear this, anybody can wear this, dogs, cats. So like I said, this is the charity item that I wanted to, you know, put out and I really hope you guys can participate in this. The link will be in the description if you care and you have the ability. Like, not that you care, because I know not everybody has, you know, the money to just go and buy things, I understand. But if you have the ability to, um, it would be appreciated because like I said, we're doing some charity work this holiday season. So, as you saw the title said, what happened last night, I'm going to be talking about two situations just because I have gained a lot of new subscribers um, since these things happened and those videos are not on my channel so you might not even know these things happened. So if you have been on my channel for a while and you saw these videos already, then you already know what I'm going to be talking about and you already know the stories. But if you don't and you're new here, then I'm going to share with you guys basically what happened last night. So the first situation I'm going to talk about happened two years ago when I was 19 years old and it actually happened in December. So that's also why I wanted to do something in December and I'm so grateful that I am in a good place right now in my life. Like I'm very very happy. No depression you guys. Of course I get a little anxious once in a while but I am good. Like I am good and I thank God every day that I am out of the hole that I used to be in. And the fact that it took you know two years, two and a half years basically to get you know better from everything um like I'm very proud of myself I guess but the first story like I said I'm telling you guys happened two years ago and two years ago I was living in my first apartment um here in Arizona I was living in Avondale I used to bump into you guys all the time at Target um but I was living in my first apartment and something happened that previous summer like I said I don't want to talk about it but something really really bad happened and after that event happened, my life kind of like spiraled into a really, really dark hole and I didn't love myself anymore. I developed anxiety no matter where I went, so I stayed home a lot. Um, I was very, very depressed. I ended up dropping out of school because I, I just couldn't really go out in public for a while. So it affected my schooling, which is really, really bad, but I ended up leaving school for a while and... Um, I was just very, very unhappy with my life. And I'm not talking about high school, you guys. I graduated. I got my diploma. But one night, I was just in my house, and I really don't remember what triggered it because I kind of blacked out. And But I do remember, like, the moments leading up to it. I was just, like, in my room thinking, I guess you could say. I think I was trying to, like, take a nap or something. But I was just like sitting in my room thinking and then I got really, really deep inside my head and 
after that, like I said, I just blacked out. Um, I remember my mom coming and picking me up. Um, I guess I like called her and I was like, mom, like you need to come and get me. Like, I'm not okay. Like I really need somebody right now and I can't drive myself cause like I'm panicking. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk. Like I wanted to collapse every step I took. Like, and it's crazy how it was a mental thing. Like it was mental, like so mental to the point that like, I couldn't even walk like it became physical like the mental was so strong it became physical and she picked me up and like I said I blacked out I don't remember what happened and then I came home then I came home the next day and when I came home I completely trashed my entire apartment um I don't really like sharing stuff like this on my channel just because I'm like scared that like my friends will leave my life I mean I'm happy now and everything is good but like I was scared to tell a lot of this stuff in the past because I was like people are gonna watch this but I just want people to relate I want people to you know understand where I'm coming from because I feel alone myself just like you guys do so like I'm like kind of out here trying to cry to you guys like do you understand like what I'm feeling like please someone tell me that I'm not alone so that's why I wanted to tell these stories but I like like, I was just scared too because I was like, oh my gosh, like, no one's going to want to marry me. They're going to think I'm crazy or no one's going to want to be my friend because they're going to think I have issues and they're not going to want to deal with it. So I never really liked sharing stuff like this on my channel. But because I am in a better place and I can, you know, say, like, I'm out of that and I'm good, like, that's why I'm okay with sharing it now. But basically, I trashed my entire apartment. Um, I had a puppy at a time. And, of course, like, when I went to my mother's house, um... He was brought along too, but he was so afraid of me after that. Like, I don't even remember what I did. And I know I didn't hurt him because I'm, I love animals. I wouldn't hurt my freaking animal or my pet. They're like my children. But he was like so scared of me. He didn't even want to be in the same room as me. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like what even happened? There was things all over the floor. Things were tore up. My TV was upside down. My Christmas tree was knocked over. Broken glass. Like it was... And like I said, it is embarrassing to me to talk about stuff like that because like I said, like I, I would not do that today. Like I could not imagine like doing that. Like... No. But because I was in such a really, really, really bad place at the time, I just went crazy. Like, I went, not even crazy, it's not called crazy, but I went berserk. And after that, I knew, like, even though I was talking to social workers and I was going to, like, little therapy things, like, those aren't working. I need to, you know, find another solution. I gotta find the next steps to getting better because those are not helping clearly. And what I went through is something that can definitely affect people for their entire lives. But I told myself, like... You can't do that, like... Here we go again, I'm crying again. Like, you can't do that, like, you can't, it wasn't my fault. And I blamed myself for a really long time. Even though it wasn't my fault, I know today it wasn't. I know it wasn't my fault. But I couldn't help but tell myself it was. And I felt dirty, I hated myself, I felt disgusting, and I... I just hated everything and everyone. I was pretty, pretty bad. So I ended up moving, um, trying to move into a house, try to get you know, a clear space, um, a more open space, so I wouldn't feel so claustrophobic because I thought that was it. Um, I thought that it would help. It didn't. <laughs> um, it didn't help at all. Things were still going the same. I mean, it got a little better for a while, but then I moved to Los Angeles and it got bad again. So here we are a year later from that event. Now I'm living in Los Angeles. Um, I was still dealing with that issue that I had. It still took a huge toll on my life and it affected relationships that I had. And then I was in a relationship and it ended up being very, very bad. I had another mental breakdown and coincidentally, in December and like I said things got really really bad and I actually quit my YouTube channel for a while I was like you guys like I gotta go I don't even know like when I'm gonna be back or if I'm gonna come back but like I got to go I'm like stressing myself out with like worrying about you guys and worrying about like my channel and everything and not even like focusing on myself knowing that myself is very hurt and because I was in Los Angeles um, I was away from my parents I was away from all my family I was kind of out there by myself at this point Alexia was already gone um, I was just there by myself and yeah I had a couple of friends but 
like we were friends but we weren't like the kind of friends where you could tell each other everything I was afraid to open up to a lot of these people because if you notice the pattern I never stay friends with people on social media for a long time um, just because once it gets to the point of wanting to open up and actually be a friend you get called crazy or they don't care and they all they want to do is vlog together and worry about how their AdSense is gonna look or make money and views and hey I got this amount of views no, 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 no. let's go hang out and do this and then at the end of the night I'm like hey can I like talk to you and they're like oh I have to go home sorry no you don't you do YouTube like chill and then the next day they don't post anything they're just chilling at their house like they clearly did not have to go to the home they just don't care and that happened many times I would try to you know open up to friends and it turns out like Vanessa like they're not really your friend they're your party friends like they just want to go and drink together and they want to get high and they want to do this this and like they're not actually your friends because when you come to sitting down and trying to have a conversation with the people that are supposed to be your friend and support you they don't give a fuck I was in a really really bad place and not only was my heart broken but I was like I said still dealing with the stuff from the year before and all of that together combined with the anxiety and the depression just really like made me you know lose it again except I didn't trash my apartment like I just shut down like like didn't talk to anyone didn't want to do anything it wasn't creative anymore I didn't feel like myself in my videos I felt destructive mentally and physically I just felt very destructive I did not feel good about anything so I was once again in another place bad place and I was remembering like I did this last year like, is this going to be a repetitive thing? Like, what's wrong with me? Like, am I going crazy? Like, am I insane? Like, why am I consistently going through bad things? Like, this is year two and I'm not getting better. Which, and like, I still blamed myself at this point. So, I was just dealing with a lot of stuff and like, I said I couldn't really open up to people about it. I opened up to Alexia about it and we cried and we talked about it and she made me feel a lot better. She was like, I think, she might have been my only friend that I've ever opened up to about that kind of stuff, but that's because I loved Alexia and I know she loved me, so and she was like my only real true, 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 true friend out there with me, and then she ended up leaving, and I was like, fuck, <laughs> like now I'm alone again, and I have just a bunch of people around me that don't really care. She's like the only person that I really opened up to about, about this situation. And it was just building up again. I was like, I just want to talk to somebody about it. And I don't want to pay somebody to listen to me. I don't want to go to a fucking therapist and pay someone to like pretend they give a damn and then throw me a prescription for pills and that'll numb me out and make me emotionally dead. And like, I don't want to go through that because after all the events happened, I did, you know, start taking medication and it made me suicidal and it made me numb. Like, I wasn't capable of caring and loving, and that also ruined- that also was one of the reasons why I had to get rid of my dog. Not only because I couldn't take care of him, but also, like, I was just so, like, dead <laughs> inside, like, literally dead inside, that I couldn't, like, even care for him, so I had to give him away to somebody who would be able to take care of him. I was just in a really, really bad place again, and I ended up leaving my YouTube channel for a while and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm being so dramatic, but like I have to step away from this to get better and really focus on myself. And the people that I was friends with at the time of this happening, um, I'm no longer friends with them anymore, but I wanted to open up and I, oh my god, I am so happy that I did it because this fucking girl that I was friends with, she would have literally told everybody. She would have told everybody. Because this girl is so malicious. This girl is so malicious that she really, she really tried to expose shit that I went through in my relationship. And I'm so glad, like, I, I'm crying because, like, I know that she would have told everybody. So I'm, like, so glad that I did not tell this girl what happened. Because I know 100% she would have used it against me. And if she ever used it against me, I probably would be in jail right now. So that's why it's so hard for me to open up to people. Because 
I want to be able to tell somebody and trust them 100%. I didn't even tell my boyfriend. I didn't tell anybody. Like, only Alexia and my family. But I didn't want to tell anybody because I was just so afraid that one day, if they're not my friend, because I've been backstabbed a lot in my life, they're going to use it against me and I'm going to lose my shit because that is something you do not use against somebody. But this girl is so malicious that she probably would. So I'm like, thank you God for like not making me open my mouth because it would have ended really, really badly. She would be seven feet under right now. It's really, really bad. Um, I needed to take some time to myself and I went to therapy, went to a psychiatrist, did all the stuff I needed to do and I needed to, you know, get back to being myself and get to being happy again. So months passed, I traveled a bit, um, tried talking to this guy, tried being in a relationship again. I wasn't ready for it. Um, and then summer came around and I, you know, I was, James moved in because um, I had an extra bedroom and I was, and he was looking for somewhere to like live. So I was like, hey, like if you could pay the rent uh, or pay your part of the rent, like you can move in. So James moved in and James definitely helped me a lot. Um, he definitely made a huge difference in my life. He is the kind of person that will sit there and like listen to you and can cry with you and will hold you and will understand just because he's personally been through a lot of stuff and I know like like I'm gonna be honest like you can't really open up to somebody who's had a perfect life and never gone through anything because they're not gonna understand like I'm sorry I'm being dead ass like Sorry, like, if you've had a perfect life, you're not gonna get it. You're like, you're not gonna fucking get it. And the fact that he went through so much stuff as a child and as a teenager, and still at this time, like, I'm sure he still deals with some things. Um, I knew he would understand and he would be able to be a good friend, and um, he definitely was. Things got a little better. I was, you know, finally around people that I, you know, really vibed with, really fucked with, and, um, really enjoyed being around. I had to drop a couple people from my life. I had to, you know, get rid of some people just because they were toxic and um, there was drug use, there was alcohol abuse, there was a lot of stuff. Not me, not me. Like, yeah, I smoked weed, but like, I didn't do what a lot of these other people were doing. I said things were just not cute <laughs> and I had to bounce. And then eventually I, around like June or July, I knew that I had to leave LA. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but um, I knew like at that time I need to leave LA. Like I need to go back to Arizona. Not because all of a sudden I don't have any friends. People like to think like, oh Vanessa ran away from LA because she has no friends. I know I was being a little dramatic, like I lost all my friends. I still had friends. I was still hanging out with the Bell Twins and Kelly and this kid LJ and this other kid Julian. But I just knew like I... Don't want to put myself in the same situation I've been in for the past year and a half. I just want to go back home and be around people that love me and actually care about me. Um, my family and my real true friends that I grew up with. So I ended up moving back here to Arizona and I cannot, like, thank you guys enough for supporting me and allowing me to, you know, do what I love because... If I was, you know, in Los Angeles and I was a doctor or something, I would not be able to just quit my job and leave just like that. Just know that you guys have made a huge difference in my life, that you were the reason I could just leave like that. So I literally broke the lease and I bounced. Ever since I moved back, I could just tell you guys, I'm so happy. I am so happy and I'm surrounded by people that I know care about me and I get along with and I can be myself and I don't have to, you know, feel like I'm weird or feel like I'm different or feel like they don't understand like I'm around people and I'm around my family and I feel like I really really needed that so your girl's out here living the best life she can happy as ever and no sadness no depression no anxiety nothing like I am I don't remember the only time I cry is when I talk about sad stuff like this I'm a happy girl <laughs> Like, I'm a very happy girl. I don't cry. I don't like, like, I'm good. Like, there's nothing to be sad about. I'm very blessed. I'm very, you know, happy. And I count my blessings every day, so. My therapy is working out now, so I do go to the gym many times a week. And I eat healthy. And I take care of myself. And mentally, I would say I'm at like a 50 out of 10. Like, I'm literally, like, so happy with my life. I'm so, like, content. And 
when I tell you, I'm telling you guys this because I was talking to a girl last night, I'm not going to say her name, um, but this is one of, you know, the subscribers that I have on Snapchat that I talk to every day, and um, she's just been talking to me for the past couple of days, like, Vanessa, like, I just can't do it anymore, like, I really feel like nothing's getting better, and it feels like it's just getting worse, and I was like, sis, like, I get it, like, I 100% get it, it's gonna feel like the world is ending, and nothing's gonna get better, but it took me years to finally be comfortable with myself and be happy, and, you know, I had to go through certain things, I guess, like, I don't like to say it, and she was also telling me, like, if God loves us, why would he put us through such bad things? And I had to explain to her, like, some of these things are tests. They're trials. They're testing your strength. They're testing your mentality. I told her, you can give up or you can be strong and get through this. And the rewards at the end are going to be extremely, extremely worth it. Whether it be internal happiness, comfort love, whatever it be, like, it's going to be worth it in the end. It took me years to get to the mindset and the place that I am now, and at, sometimes I wanted to just throw in the towel and be like, fuck it, like, I don't care anymore, but if I would have, I wouldn't have ever gotten to the place I am now, and I'm happy, and I'm healthy, and bitch got length. <laughs> like, everything is just, like, good in life now, so, like, I really had to explain to her and as I do with many of you guys every day, like, it's gonna seem pretty shitty, but it's going to be okay. That's why I created this sweater, um, now that I'm done crying. <laughs> That's why I made this sweater, because I want you guys to remember you're not alone, and life is beautiful, even though it may seem like it's burning and it's shitty, but, like, you have to remember that you're worth it, you're enough. You're unique, you're human, it's okay to feel things, it's okay to not be okay. Um, I don't know. This just means a lot to me, and if I ever lose this, like, this is the only one that's been made so far. So, like, if I ever lose this hoodie, I'm actually gonna cry. <laughs> but, like, this really has a lot of meaning to me, and I hope you guys can see where I'm coming from and why it has so much meaning to me. So, that's kind of my little story. I wanted to share with you guys if you didn't hear it already in the past because I gained quite a few subscribers since those events. <laughs> um, but if you're interested, link will be in the description for these. Um, I can't wait to do some charity work with y'all. I can't wait to, you know, really make a difference. And, you know, hopefully that money goes towards something that makes, you know, finds a cure for these mental illnesses, gets more research, gets more information on them, whatever it be. Um, yeah, so remember you're not alone and you are human and it's okay to feel things. It's okay to, you know, not be okay and you matter and don't listen to what people say because people are haters and people, like the lowest people try to put other people down. Like you may have a bully at school but you need to realize the reason they're doing that to you is because they're super unhappy with themselves. So... That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, hopefully I got my message across and hopefully you guys can participate in my little Christmas charity gig. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for being you and supporting me every day. You've made a huge difference in my life and I appreciate every single one of you. Even the haters. Bye. <laughs>